Hello Aquarius, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the comments, all the subscribers, all the views. I really, really appreciate it. My channel grows every day and that's awesome. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps the channels you watch on YouTube a lot. So thank you very much for that. There's no way this can apply to every single Aquarius out there. So if it does feel like it fits to your situation, but the masculine feminine energy that I say on the card um, doesn't apply, feel free to vice versa. So if it comes up a queen on the card and you feel like uh, it's your situation but it would be a king, then feel free to vice versa the king queen to fit your situation. But that's pretty much all you can switch. And just who the person, like if I say it's you and you're like, oh no, that's the other person, then you can switch that energy too. Because it seems how I'm not reading for you specifically, I won't be able to pick up um, your specific energies. Just a general reading. And love always comes out in general readings. So I know people like love readings, but it always comes out. We're down here for love. It's the highest vibration, so it's going to be around all of us. Alright, so I'm going to start with the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle card for you, Aquarius. And the first one for you is 9, Amble with Contentment. Waiting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous now. So this is the seahorse, and it talks about how when the currents get strong, they pretty much go with the current. And when the currents get strong, they have to wrap their tail around the coral, usually, or something, to hang on till the current subsides, and then they continue swimming. And they're very graceful. So I feel like... Aquarius, you go through life really happy, go lucky, and people cannot tell, I think, when some things are bothering you because you just portray it like, oh, it's part of life, I'm just going to take a break here, I'm fine, just, just let me take a break and then move on. So the next one for you, Aquarius, is 38, Shedding the Old. There is a change coming your way. Cultivate a sense of adventure so you will be able to use these new prospects. So I see a lot of passion in there, a lot of love, heart chakra. So something is going out of your life that's not for your highest good. And stuff usually goes in and out of our life. And stuff that's not for our good will leave. It won't stay too long usually. Sometimes I guess it will. But there's something in your life that you are getting rid of that's been in your life for a while. It could be a belief. It could be a pattern. It could be a coping mechanism, something that you have had for a long, long time you are releasing. And so it says to wait, but it says you're shedding the old, and I'll do one more of the Whispers of the Ocean. And you have ten, every step counts. There is an advantage in taking things slowly, breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. So that was a lobster there. This is a sea slug. It's called the nudibranch gill. And they're really small, it says in the book, and they're really beautiful. So this to me says that you may not feel like every step counts, but it is. And 10 also means an ending. So you have 9, 10, 11, really. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, you have 8. You have 9, 10, 11 in your first three cards. They go in row. So that tells me that things are going the way they're supposed to. And lobsters are very old, um, ancient, you know, they just seem kind of prehistoric almost, like they've been around for a long time, and I think they have. So that makes me think that, yeah, there's some pattern or something that you are going to change, and you're going to make it more beautiful. You're going to change something to make it way more beautiful than what it is right now. So the first card for you of the Chakra Wisdom deck is Princess of Cups. So this is somebody honest offering their love to somebody else. A lot of love. This person is probably younger than you, or you are younger than them. Or What, what am I saying? Vice versa. Somebody's younger than the other one. <laughs> so Seven of Coins is somebody organizing and planning, and they're also making a really important decision like it's concerning something in particular. You're planning and you're organizing right now. So maybe it's concerning this love. Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords is somebody coming in with their throat chakra, very emotional, 
very, I feel like, excited, hyped up. Like excited in an emotional, stressful kind of way. But somebody's coming to say something. And they're spying. So the sun, this trumps all the negative. Aquarius, this is beautiful. So you're happy and grateful to the universe for the beautiful things they bring you in your life. And you're, I feel like you're asking for something else. And you're telling them how grateful you will be if they bring this to you. This is a double uh, meaning card because it has the chariot in it as well as the sun. So your life is going to go in a new direction that is going to be better than you have had your life be before. In some way, somehow. Something's changing. So let me pull another one. And you have two of coins. So two of coins is being flexible and compromised. There's a situation where if you be compromising, it could work out really well. If you're not compromising, it could work out not well. And hopefully you know what that pertains to, because I just read the cards and you have to decide if it applies to you. So King of Cups, that's too weird. That is too weird, because I felt like this was going to come up. That's so weird. So the King of Cups is my codependent king. Um, you have to fit in the spires of his chair and in his cup of love. And it's a big cup of love. It is very good. But he's allowed to wander in the dark um, area of the chair, which tells me he's going to have a dark side to the relationship, this King of Cups. He is going to either be, he, I, for lack of a better word, he, he steps out of a relationship and he thinks it's okay for him to do that, but he would not allow it from his partner. Wow, Three of Swords. This is confirmation. So, somebody has broke somebody's heart with a third party. Somebody has really, really hurt somebody bad. Very bad. It's weird the sun came out and now this is coming out. So, Two of Cups. This was somebody that somebody loved very much. They really loved this person. They thought they were going to be with them their, their whole life. They see this person as the most beautiful or handsomest person they've ever had in their life. And it looks like somebody messed it up with a third party. So five of coins, yes, this is somebody walked away. Somebody said, yeah, I'm not going to be involved in that. Thanks for breaking my heart. I will move on. Me and what's left of my pride. And I feel like somebody is talking about this. There's some communication concerning that person walking away. Oh my gosh. So Nine of Swords, Aquarius, there's a lot of grief. There's a lot of grief and regret. I feel like it's on your end. And look at this. Oh my goodness gracious. So this is all your sacral chakra. You can look that up if you want to, to see what that pertains to in your body. Um, yeah, you had the Two of Cups first, I guess. Then you had the Two of Coins. So there's two people and then you're trying to make a decision concerning two people it ends up with you having regret and sadness heartbreak over a third party it's shocking how many people are in love with somebody and totally happy and they ruin it with a third party so uh, this can't apply to everybody like I said so I'm switching to the mystical cats tarot deck so this is earth king this is my heaven card this is somebody in heaven acknowledge you saying they are with you when you're sitting by yourself in your sadness this person is with you they're sitting next to you the empress so the empress is somebody who's very nurturing very kind very loving the empress can be by herself she doesn't need anybody because she's so strong she is self-dependent she's independent um, so how do I say this? I feel like the Empress has her back to somebody. She has her back to somebody. She's not being so loving and nurturing. So the next one is Eight of Sky. Somebody feeling trapped. They're going inside their head and making it worse than what it is. They feel like they see no way out of the situation and it's going to get worse. This is telling me it's just your head is making it worse. Your thoughts are making it worse. So stop the thinking that you're thinking right now because you are making it worse. Stop, step away, write a pros and cons, 
step away, go back, read the pros and cons the next day, a couple hours if you can't wait, see if you feel the same, rewrite it, kind of that thing. Two of C, there's a lot of love, Aquarius, what is going on? Two, 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 you have two of cups, two of coins, and two of C. So this is basically this in this deck. So this card came up twice. There's somebody who you see is your one, your life partner, your soul connection, just everything to you. So nine of C, this is good. This is an affirmation, good luck card. This is you, this is a fish fly, being able to fly out of the water and stay ahead of his enemies or the negative negativity. This is good luck with the gold cat toy, the feathers are heaven, abundance with the shrimp, emotions. You are very, you're dreaming of how you want things to be. You are, yeah, wow. This is a total love reading, Aquarius. So cat magic. This is it. You have the everything you need to make what you want come to you or be with you. You just have to put forth the effort. You're thinking about it, but you have to actually do something besides think about it, Aquarius. So Sky Kitten. Sky Kitten is you in the beginning of stage of something. I feel like you're excited kind of immature, kind of very excited for what you are seeing coming towards you. Two of Sky, wow, I think you've had almost all the cards, all the twos. So you want somebody really bad, Aquarius. There is somebody that you want to be with. So this is something from years ago. Whatever, who this person is or whatever's going on, you've carried this around for many years. The flags are torn. There is the moon up here which tells me it is from years ago. It's dark. I feel like you've almost eclipsed it and covered it up with emotion after emotion and just buried it away in your past. And it came out again. Something brought it forth. I'm not sure what. But, um, you have your head turned in this card. You already know what direction you are going to go. Trust your instinct. Trust your instinct. You totally already know. Alright, so I'm going to pull the Oracle of E cards. I think I'm going to move on. Um, let me look at the bottom of this deck. I don't usually do that, but just see what comes up. Ten of Earth. So this is happiness and generosity coming towards you. Aquarius, this is friend supporting you, or are you helping people, somebody helping you. Alright, now I'm going to go with the Oracle of E cards for you. The first one is 35 Live Wire. This is an upright triangle which usually represents masculine, but feel free to vice versa the masculine feminine energy. 8 is Infinity in Me. You have the desire and the drive to make this person be with you for the rest of your life. Basically, is what I see. Solar powered. You are brighter than the sun right now. You are brighter than and it, all the stars. You are focused on what you want to do. Three is a very spiritual number for me. Eight is infinity. Three is a heaven number to me. But I tell people they should take notes and write down the numbers that come up in your reading. Then Google what they mean spiritually after the reading and see if the extra meaning coming out for you. Especially double numbers, triple numbers. Very important. Magnanimous Me 27. Something is coming full circle that is going to make you feel beautiful. It's going to make you feel happy. You're going to feel so, so inspired. So, I mean, look at these cards. Aquarius. Live wire, solar powered, magnanimous me. I don't know where this love is coming from, but it looks like it's coming back. Whatever you... It, I guess it's something, could be somebody from the past coming back. So 10, something right now you're ending over your shoulder means you're walking, you're forgiving somebody and you're moving away from something. You're leaving something in the past. Wow. And didn't you have 9, 10, 11 on the other ones? And here you have 8, 9, 10. Oh my gosh. So a lot, you're where you're supposed to be. I'm really picking that up pretty strong. So let me pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you now. Two of those. 
And so the first one for you is gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So I feel like there has been a lot of love healing with you, Aquarius. And you're grateful for everything you've went through. I feel like something has come full circle that you see something that is in your life and you're very grateful. It came full circle and you understand, if that makes sense. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So I feel like there was something you were in denial about, you were denying, but now your sacral chakra, a lot of sacral chakra, whoever this person is for you, Aquarius, they are, you're on fire for them, basically. And you, I feel like you denied it for a long time, and you can't deny it anymore. Your sacral chakra is active right now, and you are... I feel like you're going after that person you want to, you're going to go chase this person. That's what I see. Alright, so now I'm going to pull the Fantasy Cat Oracle cards for you. And the first one for you, Aquarius, is Fall. This quiet joy of transition. So... This talks about intuition. I feel like you feel like in the fall something is going to come full circle and make sense and you're going to be happy. Happy, happy, happy. And you're fantasizing about it right now, I feel like. You're dreaming about it. You feel like in the fall is when your dreams are going to change to where you can live how you want to live. Feeling pretty powerful. So... There's a black cat in both these cards, which tells me a lot of intuition, Aquarius, a lot of intuition, a lot of feeling, a lot of thinking, thinking and feeling and intuition, really, really strong. Yeah, the feelings have kept you, kept, the feelings are like they never left, is what I'm picking up. Alright, so I'm switching to the... Angel and Ancestor card now for you. Aquarius, the first one from the Angel and Ancestor is Medicine Guardian. Be open to healing information. Wow, this is really good. So let me find this one because I feel like the book says it better than I ever could. Listen to what is coming up within you and what is being shared with you by trustworthy others in your life. Pay attention to healing information. Healing angels can help you heal emotionally. You are being exposed to information and insights that will have a dramatic healing effect upon your life. The emerald color of the card represents the healing rays of Archangel Raphael and his healing angels. The Medicine Guardian has a Caducus healing wand, which represents the capacity to heal with the power of will and desire, and a chalice which represents returning to a state of wholeness, a state where your cup is no longer full, but overflowing with goodness. That's pretty powerful. Okay, so now the next one for you, Aquarius, is Drum, Drum and Journey. Wow, okay, drum, let me find drum. I think it's the moon that's in Aquarius right now. So can I gonna find this? The drum is really important too. You got two really, really important cards. Here it is, finally. Okay, so it says, journey inwards to uncover insights and, and information that will be important for your path and follow the guidance. You're being guided. You are very connected to the other world at this time other worlds at this time. The wisdom and intelligence of the earth and her magic surrounds you. The drum which echoes the sound of Mother Earth's heartbeat has cleared the cobwebs and dust from your inner vision. What you have seen in your dreams and inner vision is not imagination but guidance, particularly if you've been coming to your to you repeatedly and has the potential to become reality. Dreams come true. Know it and live it. 
When the drum card appears in a reading, there's opportunities for you to dream or to bring an inner vision into reality. So I... I'm picking it up. I know. I just I just pick up a lot of stuff, and I just people don't leave too many weird comments, so I don't know how people handle it. The draw makes me think of somebody um, may have had past life connections. Here is what I'm getting from the drum. But you're protected, and the universe is guiding you back to that person. Basically, there is a connection there, and you are being guided to go back there. And it's going to be a healing connection to you in some way. You're going to heal. So, yeah, go back and look at the, the, I mean, just this card. I think, was it this one? Live wire. Whoa, sorry about that. And then this one, the solar powered. Beautiful. Just feel like you can do whatever you want right now. You have control. You're in power. So, I hope that helps. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you so much. Bless you, Aquarius.